Hey and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video I'm going to be talking through a brief review of my Muck Off power pressure washer. I'm going to talk about how I find it, what's good about it, what's bad about it and whether you should buy one or not. I'm also going to show you the effects it has on my bike. So I hope you enjoy the video. One thing that I forgot to mention before we dive into the review is that I paid full price for this product. Don't have any affiliations with Muck Off, so everything that I say you can trust. I'm not getting any kind of kickbacks from it, so it's just my honest opinion. And I paid full price for this, so I'll tell you my opinion. So I bought this Muck Off pressure washer for a mix really of simplicity and also because of its claims that it's not as powerful as like your catch or pressure washers so it shouldn't damage your bearings as much so they were the main reasons that I got it really but essentially we used to live in a flat and I used to always have to take my car, take my car, take my bike down to the river and then chuck buckets of water over it and splash it around and I couldn't wait for the day where I could just spray my bike down after a ride so as soon as we moved into our new house and I finally had access to somewhere to pressure washer it I got one of these beauties so I've been quite lucky since I got it because it's been really sunny recently so I've not actually had to use it that much but earlier in this week I headed out and I got my bike as mucky as I possibly could so that was on Monday it's now Wednesday so all the dirt is kind of like dried on the bike so I'm going to show you the before and after effects on this so with the muck off uh, washer you get a couple of adapters for it so I actually use the normal one at the moment you also get a motorcycle one I believe and a mountain bike one now when I first used the mountain bike one I actually found it was a little bit too soft to get everything off the bike with um, ease of use so I actually use the normal one I find that it gets all the stuff off it much easier now obviously the downside of that is that it's a little bit harder and it could damage your bearings a little bit more but for me I'd rather replace my bearings slightly more often and have the ease of use of just spraying the bike down and being able to do it that way um, I'm sure I'm gonna get some abusive comments uh, below but what I do find with the normal one is it's nowhere near as powerful as a catcher pressure washer like it's powerful but I've tried using it on my drive for example and it, is, it doesn't compare so it is significantly less powerful than a catcher pressure washer so it shouldn't do as much damage to the bearings as a normal pressure washer now one of the other benefits of it is included in the attachment is you also get the muck off, um, what do you call it, foamer, what's the word for it? Whatever that thing is, I'm sure you'll know. So I'll show you it in action before, but you can just attach this onto the end of it really, really easily. So all that happens with it is you press this down, you give it a twist, get wet in the process, and then to put it in, make sure I put it in the right way, you literally put it in, twist it, and then that's in, ready to go. And then all that you'll do is when you turn it on at the wall, turn the tap on, and when you press it, and it'll spray the bike, which I'll show afterwards, then as soon as you've done it and the bike is uh, all muck off up, you push it in, twist it, switch it over, and just like that, you've got the proper pressure washer ready to go as well. It's really, really simple and really easy to use. I just leave it inside the garage and it's ready to use within 20 seconds and I'm good to go cleaning my bike. So I'll get into actually showing you the effects and for me really, like I say, the main benefit for me is the ease of use and how quickly it cleans your bike. So I'm gonna show you a really quick wash of my bike and the sort of effects you can get it. So you can see some footage here of how mucky my bike was to start and all that muck's dried on. I'm literally just gonna use the muck off spray on it. Then I'm gonna give it a very quick 30 second scrub down with a brush. Then I'm gonna clean it off with a pressure washer and you'll see the difference in very minimal time. So first of all, I'm just going to foam the whole bike. So you can use the muck off concentrates. I think you get four or five bottles worth from one bottle. So this is topped up with a bit of um, the concentrate in the bottom and then the water as well, mixing it up. It was full, I've just used some of it. So it's dead simple and it's fun as well to um, spray the whole bike. <laughs> So you can see that's used about a quarter of the bottle and to be honest I went a bit overboard then for the video and only used quite a bit less than that. It covers the wall behind it but it all just runs away um, and it's all eco friendly as well so you don't have to worry about killing any ducks or anything. Um, but you can see it completely covers the bike from head to toe in about 10 seconds and it's really satisfying to spray. So we'll just flip the bike over and I'll give you some sexy slow-mo shots as well for you to enjoy. So 
normally when you get back off a ride your bike's going to be mucky but it's also wet as well so what you can usually do is just spray it on and then spray it off with the washer and then it's all pretty much done I've left this bike for a couple of days so all I'm going to do is just use the brush just to agitate all the dirt and then to get the proper effect so you can enjoy watching this sped up version So as soon as you've done that, give it a quick scrub, that was 90 seconds worth, something like that. You now just put the other adapter on, and I've not had to turn the power socket off like it's still on. If I still on, water will still come out the end, but then all the adapter does is just make it more powerful. So that's on and ready to go, and then literally all I'll do now is just spray it all off. so there's like a bits of stubborn bit so I stay quite far back from the bike usually or a little bit further back just to really like take a bit of the pressure off and um, but then when you do get some stubborn bits you can go nice and close to it as well and you'll get the majority of it off that it's got a wrap on my bike so sometimes like the muck gets into the wrap if you know what I mean it doesn't come off quite as well but if you didn't have it wrapped it comes straight off but any of the marks and stuff you can see on there is actually on the wrap of the bike rather than on the paintwork and um, it's super super simple you do have as well different pressures that you can switch it to so like I say this is on the hardest possible pressure but you can see that if you twist it it will go easier as well So I tend to have it on the most direct setting, but if you did want to go over the sensitive areas like the switch infinity or closer to your bearings, you can put it on that even easier setting if you like, so it's less likely to damage your bike. Now the one thing that I didn't realise when I bought the cleaner, we just moved into a new house, that's why the garage is all mucky at the moment. Um, it doesn't come with an attachment to the pipe so we had the tap obviously on the wall and you get the pressure washer but you don't get this bit in the middle so I had to buy one of these now I bought a short one but I'm actually going to rebuy a bigger one so I can take it off like down the down the driveway and use it in a little more you know so it increases the range of it um, but you need to buy one of these so this is just the attachment that goes onto the plug and onto the back of the muck off sprayer. So you may already have one of these, but if you don't, make sure you buy one off Amazon as well. I mean, they're not cheap, they're not expensive. I think it was a tenner or a fiver or something like that. Um, but you do need to have one of these. If you don't, you won't be able to use the pressure washer. So I was really excited to get it. And then I had to wait another three days for me to get my delivery so I could actually use it. So just bear that in mind. But everything else comes in the box. So as you can see, that was barely any time at all and the bike is nice and clean now. It's got everything off it. I've not even had to use any degreaser on the cassette or the chain. That's nice and clean. Um, to be honest, like it just does what it says on the tin. It's inexpensive. I think they're actually less expensive than a Karcher power washer. And as part of that, from memory, I think I got two lots of these spray. It might have been one lots. So you get the full pressure washer, you get the three attachments, you get the... Um, snow foamer as well so you get all of that included and for me there's just no downside it's like it's so simple and it's really fun as well it makes cleaning your bike fun like i'll often stand and really overdo it just because i really enjoy it all of this crap that's on the um driveway it sprays off i'll show you that and like i say it's completely um eco-friendly as well so you don't need to worry about that you can just leave it overnight and if we came back in a few hours time it'll be gone whether it's sunny or wet it just kind of evaporates and makes its own own way away and um, probably the only downside that i can think of probably maybe a couple if you wanted to buy this for a pressure washer that you could do your cars with you could do the driveway with it's probably not powerful enough for that but it's a bike one you're buying it for the bike uh, and it uses quite a bit of stuff as well so i use more than normal just for the sake of this video but i've used half a bottle of that and um, but again this is the concentrated stuff so 
can't remember how much you get, but I'm sure they take like four lots of bottles. You use like a quarter of a bottle and top it with water, I think. So for, from my point of view, I would rather spend that little bit more on using more muck off just to have the fun and the ease of spraying the bike. Um, and Ben, who was doing the video then, who's behind the camera, he was just saying like how easy it is. It's just spray on. If you need to, you can agitate it with a brush, but most of the time you don't even need to do that. Change it over and then spray it down and your bike's nice and clean. So it's so simple. It, it just does what it says on the tin. Maybe another downside might be that you can't take it in the car with you. You've got to have a mains adapter, but that doesn't really bother me. You can just clean the bike when you get home. So overall, for the cost of it, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I've got nothing bad to say about it, really. Great products. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment or drop me a message on Instagram or Facebook. I'll be more than happy to help, but I can highly recommend this product. It's really, really good. Should say as well, probably should have said this at the beginning, I paid full price for it and I don't get any kickbacks from, kick from Muck Off, so it's a completely honest review of the products, this. Um, but thanks so much. Please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time for another video.